I'm Sue Greenberg. The prizes this evening are being awarded to those researchers and scientists who have made the greatest progress toward eradicating this ancient scourge. I'm Sandy Greenberg, and I'd like to say a few words. A beating heart keeps us alive, but sight can enrich nearly every living moment. I say this as one who has seen nothing but blackness for most of my life. But I say this also as one who had the tremendous gift of vision for my first 19 years. To me, the women and men we are gathered here to celebrate are the true pathfinders. Like the great navigators of yore, they have sailed into the void of darkness and are now emerging out the other side, armed with charts, rich with latitude and longitude. I'm Jeremy Nathans. I'm a professor of molecular biology and genetics, neuroscience and ophthalmology at the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine and an investigator of the Howard Hughes Medical Institute. I've spent my entire career working on human vision and I am proud to serve as the chairman of the Scientific Advisory Board for the Sanford and Susan Greenberg Prize to End Blindness and to work with the members of the Governing Council in this extraordinary endeavor. Dr. Richard Axel, Dr. Constance Sepko, Dr. John Dowling, Dr. Carol Greider, Dr. Julia Haller, Dr. Eric Kandel, Dr. Joan Miller, Dr. Joshua Sains, Dr. Carla Schatz, Dr. Alfred Summer, Dr. James Tsai. Just sometimes, an extraordinary effort achieves its goal and an incredible journey finds its destination. The outstanding achievement prizes are in that pantheon of heroes who have navigated extraordinary challenges and overcome difficult obstacles to achieve real and enduring change. And with their actions, they have delivered support and sight to people around the world. The outstanding achievement prizes were selected through a rigorous process in which the Scientific Advisory Board carefully evaluated the most significant advances and the most promising future directions in vision science and ophthalmology. Each outstanding achievement prize winner or group of winners will receive $1 million in recognition of their extraordinary accomplishments and in support of their future research toward the goal of preventing and curing blindness. How do we bring care for blindness and vision impairment to people in remote areas? Dr. Golapali Rao grew up in a small rural village in India and saw the extraordinary challenges facing people in poor communities who were impacted by blindness. After education and training in Andhra Pradesh, New Delhi and the United States, he founded the LV Prasad Eye Institute to respond to the needs he had seen all too clearly and to provide equitable and sufficient eye care to all sections of society. Dr. Rao's recognition of the burden of the problem, coupled with the education and exposure he gained, helped crystallize the vision for the institution and led to remarkable progress. To date, the LV Prasad Eye Institute has served nearly 30 million people, with more than half of patients receiving care free of cost the Institute offers rehabilitation services, a special needs vision clinic for children with developmental delays and disabilities, and hundreds of care centers that provide medical facilities to the most remote areas of the country, and with a patient-oriented culture and a focus on innovation and discovery. Through Dr. Rao's work and the LV Prasad Eye Institute, vision is reaching the people who need it most. I'm accepting this prize on behalf of over 3,000 strong LV Prasad Eye Institute family and numerous supporters from all over the globe. The prime motivation to start this institute to me came 
with the idea of creating a model that provides the best possible care to everyone and give that with respect and dignity. Throughout my life, I have been privileged to get education, exposure, and experience working with the best of institutions and individuals. This background, coupled with an early childhood in a rural village, provided me the tools to undertake this journey. The generosity of countless individuals and organizations with their time, talent, and treasure, coupled with the diligence and dedication of our team, made every task achievable and journey smoother. Numerous challenges for eye care in India provided opportunities for innovation in delivery of care, creation of education programs, research and technology innovation. Thus, innovation has become part of our DNA. All this culminated in the creation of a truly integrated model of eye care from the primary care in remote, rural, and underserved communities to the advanced tertiary care at the top of the pyramid. This has benefited over 30 million people directly and several times more indirectly. Elimination of avoidable blindness by the year 2020 has been an aspiration of the global eye care community for over two decades. I want to place on record our gratitude to Sanford and Susan Greenberg and Blindness Foundation for recognizing our contribution to this global effort. We are honored.